Today I'm unveiling the secrets of making viral YouTube shorts that will make you feel like a genius. And get this, we are going to use completely free AI automation tools. Imagine having a monetized channel in record time with your YouTube shorts and stacking up some serious cash every single month with these advanced automation techniques without having to spend any money. Ever wondered how those amazing shorts on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok are going viral with high engagement and raking in millions of views? Well, guess what? It's simpler than you think, and I'm about to reveal all the secrets of these high engagement tactics. These YouTube channels went from zero to over 700,000 subscribers in just a few months by telling epic tales of historical figures and with stoic quotes with the magic touch of AI. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create videos that will make your faceless YouTube channel explode with views. So stick around, my friends. I will be guiding you through the YouTube Shorts exclusive monetization mastery using these viral content strategies. But before we dive into the step-by-step -step tutorial, let's check out the crazy stats on Social Blade. One YouTube Shorts channel is scoring a jaw-dropping 2.7 million views monthly. That's like a cool $14,000 in ad revenue, and the numbers you see in Social Blade is on the lower end. So that means they make more than what you see here. If you follow my ultimate monetization strategies, you can get in on this too. Stick around until the end of this video, because I'm going to drop some exclusive, 100% free AI automation tools that will have your videos generating high engagement and making money like never before. I will be introducing free AI automation tools that no other videos are talking about. I have done the legwork to make your life easier and to rank in money without spending any of your own. With that being said, the first thing you need to do is pick your faceless YouTube channel niche. But for this video, we'll go with history and philosophy. One of the easiest ways to create these shorts is to find any viral shorts from YouTube channel with high engagement and millions of views, then get it transcribed and get it rewritten using ChatGPT. First, you need to install a Google Chrome extension called YTScribe. Just Google YTScribe and click on Get Chrome Extension. After installing it, click on the puzzle button on the top right and pin the extension to your tab for easy access. Now when you go to a YouTube page, you will see this little tab that says Transcribe YouTube Video. Simply click on this, and you will see the transcript of that video. If you don't want to install this extension, there is also another site called YouTubeTranscript.com that does the same job. Now here's a little trick for getting transcripts for YouTube Shorts. If you try to use the Shorts URL and paste it here, it will give you an error page and will not work. So if you want to get a transcript of YouTube Shorts, simply copy a standard, regular video link such as this example, then copy it and paste it in a new tab. Then go to the Shorts page you want to transcribe and copy the last part of the URL. Copy this last section and paste it into the regular video link and combine the two. It will look like this and you will see this page. And now you are able to get the transcript of this short using ytscribe and youtubetranscript.com. When you're done, copy the transcript and head over to ChatGPT to generate a rephrased version. You want to make sure your content is fresh and unique, but keeps the essence of the original one. Next, type in something like, act as a professional YouTube script writer, reword this passage and make it engaging into ChatGPT, and then paste the video transcript. ChatGPT will now reword the text so that you can use it for your YouTube shorts. Now that you have your script fully generated with ChatGPT, the next thing you want to do is generate the images you will use for your YouTube Shorts. Midjourney used to be free, but now they require a payment. The best free alternative out there is Leonardo.ai. This free image generator allows you to generate high-quality images from scratch using text prompts, just like in Midjourney. If you don't have an idea how to write a text prompt for Leonardo.ai, you can simply ask ChatGPT to do that for you. As mentioned earlier, Leonardo.ai is free, and you can create an account with just your email. Just head over to Leonardo.ai and create a free account. It gives you 150 tokens every day, so if you use all your tokens, you can either use it again for free the next day, or create a new account with another email and use it immediately. Once you're in, copy and paste the prompt you generated with ChatGPT into the prompt box. In the negative prompt box, you can type in the things you don't want to see in the image. For instance, you can request the AI not to generate images with distorted figures or humans with more than five fingers on each hand. Leonardo will then generate the images for you. After getting the first image, repeat the process using all the other prompts. When you have successfully generated all the images you need, export them to your device. 
The next thing you need to do for this ultimate monetization strategy is generate a voiceover for your script. This is where TTS Maker and Eleven Labs come into the spotlight, making your YouTube shorts sound as good as they look. TTS Maker is a free voiceover tool that turns your scripts into spoken ones. It has a variety of voices available, so you can choose the perfect voice to match your content's vibe. Paste your script into TTS Maker, then pick a voice that suits your video's style. After selecting the voice, TTS Maker reads your text aloud, creating a voiceover file that you can add straight to your video. It also has some features that you can modify when you click on more settings. Now, let's talk about Eleven Labs, another cool text-to-speech tool. This is an AI-powered text-to-audio generator that you can use for your videos. Eleven Labs is actually a paid tool, but it offers a free plan that allows users to generate text-to-speech of up to 10,000 characters per month. If you want to have more features, the starter subscription price is actually really good. $1 for the first month and $5 after that. Plus, it is also the best AI voice generator on the market, making it a very good option. To get started with the tool, you can click on the link in the description and sign up for a free account. Once the voiceover has been generated, you will be able to listen to it and download it as an MP3 file. If you are not happy with the voiceover, you can fine-tune it using the voice settings in the right sidebar. The next step is to pick your music from Creator Mix. This is a free website where you can find and download royalty-free music that you can use for your videos without copyright issues. You need good copyright protection strategies for your YouTube channel because you do not want to get demonetized because of this. It's important to note that while Creator Mix is free and does not need to give credit or attribution, but it would be good if you are able to give credit where it's due. This is a small step that shows respect for the music creators while you enjoy enhancing your videos with their work. After that, you can upload it to CapCut. Now, we can move on to the most important part, which is creating the actual video itself. The best free option available is CapCut. It's very easy to use and most importantly, it is absolutely free. It's packed with features that make editing easy and fun. You get everything from basic cutting and trimming to more advanced options like filters, effects, and text overlays. This is just scratching the surface of what CapCut can do. To use CapCut, add the audio you just downloaded from Eleven Labs and drag it into the timeline. Next, remove all the spaces in the audio so that the speaker doesn't pause while talking. This is an important step because you need to hold your viewer's attention to the very end. Trim your clips to the desired length and arrange them in the order that tells your story best. After that, select all the images you generated with Leonardo.ai and drag them into CapCut. Drag the first image into the timeline. Next, resize the image by going to the aspect ratio and selecting 9 by 16 for YouTube Shorts. Once you've adjusted the aspect ratio, try to adjust the image size so that it fits nicely on the screen. Make sure you do this for all the other images. When you're done with that, you can start adding transitions and animations to make the video more interesting. To do this, go to Transitions, pick any transition of your choice, and add it between the two images. To apply an animation, go to the right side of the screen and click on Animation. There are several options you can try out, so take your time to check them all out to see which ones will best suit the images you have. After applying transitions and animations, you can move on to applying filters. This will make your video more appealing to your audience. Simply go to the Filter section, select the Clear Filter, and drag it into the timeline. Apply this filter to the entire project. When you're done, you can move on to the effects. To apply the effects, go to the Effects section, where you will find many effects. Select the ones that suit the subject of the video and the images, and apply them either to a single image or to multiple images at once. Once you are done, you can move on to subtitles. To apply subtitles, head over to the text section at the top, then click on Auto Caption. Leave it set to English. Check Clear Current Subtitles and finally, click on Create. CapCut will automatically generate subtitles for the audio. After that, reduce the timeline and make sure you've selected all the subtitles in the animation section. Next, increase the font size and change the font to anything you like. Ensure you adjust it to fit the screen properly. The last thing you need to do before your video is complete is to add music. This part is pretty important as it increases engagement. To add the music that you have downloaded from Creator Mix, just drag the MP3 music file to fill the entire timeline of the video. Line up the music with your video to get the timing just right. Once that's done, preview the video and make adjustments if there's any. 
Your video is ready and you can export it from the app. Make sure your voiceover from TTS Maker or Eleven Labs is balanced with any background music. Finally, preview your video to make sure everything looks good. Then export it in the format suitable for YouTube Shorts. A word of caution. You need to know that the people who watch YouTube Shorts have a shorter attention span and are looking to consume more short-form content. When you upload on YouTube, the algorithm first shows your content to a small audience to see how they respond. If a majority of those people watch your video all the way to the end and leave comments, then the YouTube algorithm notices and will push your video to a larger audience. But if your own subscribers only watch a small portion of your video or don't watch at all, then the YouTube algorithm thinks that your video is no good and YouTube will stop pushing your video to a bigger audience. If you post both shorts and long form content, then you are basically attracting two different types of audiences. One audience that has a 30 second attention span and another who has a 10 minute attention span and mixing the two different types of audiences will lead to the destruction of your channel. So if you decide that YouTube Shorts is right for you, stick to Shorts. But if you are more interested in creating long form videos, make sure you stick to this. It is also important to remember that if you're just starting your YouTube channel, consistency and patience is key, as it would take some time to get traction and get monetized. I encourage you to do your own research, have fun, and try out creative ideas using these ultimate monetization strategies. Anything that's worth building takes time and hard work. Let me know in the comments if you want more in-depth tutorials on any of these free tools. Also, if you are looking for a tool for a specific use, leave a comment and I will try my best to find a good free one for you.